This video is going to be about how I became a more confident woman. And if you're clicking on this video thinking that this is going to be about hair, makeup, nails, skin, outfits, smile, whatever, this is not your video. This video is how I became more confident realistically. Because let's be honest, you could be the most beautiful girl in the world. You can have the be most beautiful hair, the most beautiful smile, but if you are not confident from within, then you are not going to exude confidence. It doesn't matter if you put on a nice outfit every single day. It might make you feel better, like I've mentioned before, but it is not going to make you confident like that. It might make it so that it is easier to take on the day and have social encounters, but it is not going to make you confident. It, is, it might give you a confidence boost, but it is not going to make you truly confident. These are things that I have done over the years to become more confident and have my own personal glow up. Because when I was younger, I used to think, well, if I had this hair, then I would be more confident. If I had my eyebrows like this, then I would be more confident. If I had my smile like this, I'd be more confident. If my body looked like this, I would be more confident. If I had outfits like this, I would be more confident. And you know what? I got all of those things in my past and I still wasn't confident because superficial things don't make you a truly confident person. So let me get the superficial things out of the way first. I don't use Snapchat. There's just, or any excessive filters. Um, if something is changing my facial features to the point where I don't look like myself in real life and I only feel beautiful with pictures being taken with filters on them, then I'm not going to post them. And I know I use filters on my Instagram, but I'm talking Facetune and Snapchat. I don't use any of those. I don't use the beautifying filters that make my lips bigger or make my face slimmer or what's the other one that people do a lot? The big eyes or the narrow nose. like. So with that one out of the way, the next one is I stopped comparing myself to people in real life and online. It's just, it's pointless. And if you haven't watched my comparison video yet, please go and do so after this one. I will link it down below. I work with what God gave me, authenticity. I am who I am and I am not going to change my features or change things to fit in with societal standards. I'm going to embrace the way that God built me the, the way that God built my facial structure and I'm going to work with it. My hair, I'm going to work with it. I'm not going to fight that. I'm not going to go and do something to alter my appearance because it's superficial and chances are if I were to go and get something fixed on my face that I might not like, I'm going to find something else that I don't like about myself and say that well, once I do this, I'm going to be more confident. So no superficial things. So I work with what God gave me. So I put my own unique self forward. What you see is what you get. That doesn't mean that I don't work on my outward appearance, but I'm not going overboard doing certain things to look a certain way or fit in a certain way. I embrace my struggles and I use my mistakes as lessons and I learn from them. And this has made me more confident because I'm not beating myself up over things. I'm challenging myself. I'm challenging my mindset. It used to be giving up so easily because I just beat myself up and I was like, well, you know, I'm failing at this. Why keep going? I'm a loser. I'm not gonna do anything with this. This is just... Okay, you know, pushing myself to keep going and keep doing things and try again tomorrow because tomorrow's a new day has changed my mindset and has made me more confident from that. The next thing I've done to become a more confident woman is I do what I can to plan for encounters and situations. Obviously, I can't plan for every little thing in the future, but if I'm planning for certain things that may or may not happen, at least I'm prepared for them, you know? So that has made me more confident because that helps to decrease my anxiety as well. Maybe I'll do a video on anxiety because I suffered from it bad after my son was born so maybe I'll do that the next thing I have done to become a more confident woman is embracing the silence and the loneliness that comes with life in these situations I have learned to become more aware of my thoughts the way the enemy tries to put a foothold in my life and stop me from doing things and of course most importantly listening to the still small voice that is God because he is truly what gives me confidence and without him I would be nothing 
In order to become a more confident woman, I had to start holding myself accountable. I don't play the blame game anymore. I used to blame things on others. If I had the opportunity to be able to blame something on somebody else and get the heat off of me, I would. And now I take responsibility for myself. I hold myself accountable. I don't try and blame things on people or situations or my circumstances. I do what I can and that one is pretty self-explanatory. Mm. The next thing that has helped me become more confident is using a schedule and planning for things, writing things down, making lists. I have learned over the years that I am a list maker and I get so much done when I am list making. Hold on. Making my daily list to check them off so that I can get stuff done makes me conquer the day. It gives me so much confidence in completing things. It just feels so good. It makes me feel so confident knowing that I'm checking the last thing off on the list and going, okay, I can go to bed knowing that I don't have anything to finish from today, tomorrow. Like that's, oh, that's awesome. That, that is, that, that's confidence. The next thing I've done to be more confident is exercising. And I know you guys are gonna be like, well, I thought you said you weren't gonna do anything superficial, Chelsea. Well, let me explain, okay? So I exercise five days a week. I lift weights, I dance, and I stretch. And this has helped me become more confident, not just in changing my body shape and my body composition, but because it makes me feel good. It gives me a boost. It gives me an endorphin rush naturally and makes me stronger and it just gives me a clear head for the day. Sometimes I'll work out at night, but working out in the morning really helps me to get a kickstart to my day, gets the blood flowing, and there's all kinds of other benefits to working out other than looking good. So, it's not as superficial as some of you might think. The next thing that has boosted my confidence is sleep. Getting the proper sleep every single night, sleeping seven to eight hours a night. I like my seven and a half hours of sleep and I wake up with so much energy and I feel refreshed and if I sleep too long, it makes me feel groggy and tired. And if I don't get enough sleep, it makes me feel like I'm going to lose it at some point in the day. And obviously if you're a new mom or if you have a child like mine, you're not going to have perfect sleep every single night, but do your best to try and get your proper amount of sleep because Sleep is important. Good things happen when you sleep. Your body repairs itself when you're sleeping. If you are not getting enough proper sleep, you are fluctuating your hormone levels and that's not good. So seven to eight hours of sleep instead of just going to sleep when I want, waking up when I want. It's really truly boosted my confidence. The next thing I have done to become a more confident woman is that I don't skip out on social interactions anymore. I used to be like, okay, well, I don't wanna really go socialize with this person. I know I made this coffee date to go sit at the cafe with her, but I really don't want to go. And I stopped doing that. I remember that reading this article a few years back about socializing with people becoming less of a thing and people being on their phones during social interactions. So when somebody invites me to do something, I will make plans. Obviously, I will make sure it fits into my schedule, but I won't skip out on it. I won't try and come up with an excuse to cancel because social interactions, true human, hu true human contact, not just in the virtual realm, is so vital to our health and our confidence. And so going out, seeing friends, sitting down, talking to people, even social interactions that aren't necessarily human to human contact. Maybe you're just calling somebody up on the phone. Maybe you're the type of person that likes to text people rather than call. Well, start making it a thing to where if somebody's calling you and you're not busy, instead of making up an excuse and saying just text me instead or just starting a text conversation, call them. You will find that you're going to talk so much more. You're not gonna obviously forget to reply back to them because you're talking on the phone to them. And it's just a pleasant experience being able to talk to people. I used to avoid phone calls, I used to do that. And not skipping out on things like that has boosted my confidence because I'm around people and I'm talking to people and I'm answering my phone to talk to people and I'm calling people up. The next thing I have done to become more confident, started to serve others more and take care of my family and my home. This has boosted my confidence because I love seeing my family smile. I love being able to feed them. I love knowing that they enjoy my meals, that they enjoy my sweets that I'm baking, that they enjoy the fact that their clothes are always clean. This might sound silly, but I love when my husband goes into the bathroom and goes, it smells so good in here. Like, that makes me confident, that makes me feel good. 
I don't know, it's just me. <laughs> I love taking care of my family. I love serving them. I love taking care of my home. That makes me feel confident. You can be the best looking woman ever, but if you're not taking care of your family and your home, and if you're treating them like dirt, and if you're not taking care of the actual physical dirt in your home, you might not feel so good. You might not feel as on top of the world, on top of your game as you look. So taking care of my home, family, my friends, serving others, doing favors for people without feeling that I need something in return has given me confidence and that's what I live for. The next thing that I have done to become a more confident woman is that I do not let social media, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, well, I don't even use Facebook because that's total trash. I don't use those to dictate what I deem creative and what is not creative. I just create. Now don't get me wrong, I will go on Pinterest and I will look for inspiration for things, but I don't let that dictate me. I'm not like, okay, if I want to paint a sign for my house that says this, or paint signs for my bathroom, I have to make them look exactly like this, and I have to use the exact materials, and I can't do it any other way. Or, well, everybody's editing their photos with this teal and orange preset, so I need to make my photos a teal and orange preset. I don't look good with teal and orange presets over my face and stuff, okay, you guys? So. But anyways, I don't let social media dictate my creativity. I don't let what everybody else is doing dictate my creativity. The next thing that I have done to become a more confident woman is that I learn something new every day. Whether it's something as small as animal origami shapes, out of pieces of paper or something from history that was not taught to us, I aim to learn one new thing every single day. And that has boosted my confidence because they're conversation pieces. I, th I feel so confident when I can do something or say something and not have to go on social media and go, oh, uh, let me find this meme real quick that gave all these facts. I like to memorize that stuff because that makes me feel more confident in conversations. And while we're on the topic of learning new things, Something that I'm currently doing that is boosting my confidence is learning a new language. I am learning Chinese. I've been learning it since about June or July and I love it. I love being able to say things, being able to read things in Chinese and know what they say. It's really fun and it gives me so much confidence because I hope to one day down the road be able to do an entire video in Chinese. I just think that would be really cool to be able to do English subtitles and Chinese as the video language and I don't share my goals very very often with people because I like to keep those secret those my goals are near and dear to me and I don't share them you will see my goals when they are happening because that's just how I am that's how I've been but one of my five-year goals that I have made for myself is that I would like to be able to learn three new languages in the next five years so my first language that I'm learning is Chinese and then the next language I'm going to learn is Japanese and then the next language I am going to learn is probably going to be Russian but I'm kind of deciding what between an, a few others as well but so far learning Chinese is going well I'm also learning to write in Chinese which is pretty cool and I don't know if you can tell but I really love talking about this and I really I'm just this has been a huge confidence boost because I just want to be able to communicate with more people and I just think it would be really neat to learn an entire language, be able to speak it fluently and be able to communicate with others in their own native language. So, and the most important thing that I have done that increases my confidence daily, multiple times a day, especially when I'm kind of feeling funky and you know, my mood's kind of going down, I will read the Bible because that gives me a confidence boost. I also have the Bible app on my phone that gives me daily Bible verses and that is a huge confidence boost in the morning. My first and only notification that pops up on my phone through sleep mode is my Bible verse and I love being able to read my Bible verse every single morning and then dive into God's word in my physical Bible and be able to read and understand things and understand that certain things don't matter so yes yeah, so God gives me all kinds of confidence and if you're a Christian you know if you're not a Christian just know that Jesus loves you and he gives you all kinds of confidence like a whole nother level of confidence oh, and I'm not talking about the going out in the world and conquering you the world with your looks and your your eyes and your makeup and your hair and your nails and your outfit and all that other superficial stuff. I'm talking about the entire chapter of Ephesians 6 type of confidence. That is the kind of confidence that God gives you and 
Truly, this should have been number one, but these things are never in a particular order unless I state them at the beginning of the video. God is the entire reason that my confidence has grown. He's the reason why I want to learn things every single day. He's the reason why I want to increase my knowledge with things and learn new languages and be able to communicate better with people and hold myself accountable. All of these things are because of God. What is something that makes you feel confident that doesn't have to do with superficial, external appearance things? What makes you feel confident from within? What can you do to become more confident from within? Let me know in the comments below. I love talking and interacting with you. I'm very active on my Instagram and I communicate with people as best as I can. I am off to go and clean up Atlas and start dinner before my husband gets home. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.